I wanted to wear a lace front wig, but my hairline would not permit. Okay, so I shaved all the Wow, you know what's funny? As I'm literally getting ready to like film this video, I get a comment from Brenna Face, I believe that's the name. And she like, sis, I asked you for an edge tutorial a minute ago. Like, what's up? So, bitch, sound off in the comments because you on my head and here I am about to film the video. Sound off in the comments, period. Brenna, I wanna see you in the comments. That's it. But sorry, today we are doing a edge tutorial vlog, okay? This is just a part of the vlogmas, little seven days of vlogmas that I'm doing. So we're gonna be doing an edge tutorial. Now, I had already started. I was about to like start doing my edges and I was like, oh crap, I'm supposed to be filming this. You see, my brain be playing games with me. But yeah, so we're about to do rude. I don't know, I don't even know what this sound be. Now listen. I am gonna straighten my hair, but it's pouring raining today and I'm like, I'm not doing this. So I blow my, blow my, I blew my hair out and I just have it like in these two buns because I cannot be bothered. Um, but I am gonna do my edges because I'm about to go to Marshalls. Okay, I wanna, please. But, so let's get into like the tools, okay? So normally I would use the Style Factor Edge Booster in the, strawberry scent this is normally what i will use right let me make sure it's focusing however i'm out of this i'm out and they did not have this scent at the beauty supply store which i feel like to me i don't know if you feel the same way but with these style factor um edge controls i feel like different scents have better holds and i found that the strawberry scent is just the best one so that's the one that I usually like to use, but they didn't have it at the beauty supply store that I go to and I wasn't about to go all around town trying to find it. Like, you know, so I got this um, raspberry scent. I always, <laughs> I always top it off with some gel. This is the wet line extreme. Um, and in the summertime, I top it off with some gel and then I, like put my scarf on and then right after I take my scarf off I top it with a little bit of got to be glued literally just like I'll dab and then like put it over I don't even like brush it and I literally just put it on top to set it and when I tell you my edges be in place all day they don't move okay and um obviously an edge brush when I'm trying to be fancy I'll use the this little tail to like really help to carve out certain things it depends like if i'm gonna wear a headband wig obviously my edges will be like the star of the show in that type of situation so that's when i would use like this to really like get in there add the details and all of that stuff right i usually just take the edge booster get some edge control on the back of the thing like that and then first i'll like part out my well not part out but just like the parts that I'm gonna be putting edge control on, I put it down. I just blow dry my hair so like, it's gonna look a little crazy at first because this is just like blown out, but I pull out like, well not pull out, but just comb down the pieces that I'm gonna put hair on, right? And I don't call this baby hair, okay? This is just my edges. Um, But yeah, then I add the edge control to the parts in question, sorry, no, to the parts that I'm gonna like put, um, I mean that I'm gonna like slick. I feel like nobody cares about this side. I literally just slick that side up. Um, so I'm not even gonna get too much detail on like these little side pieces because I don't like, I literally just brush it back. And then like, because you see how my sideburns are, they literally come all the way down. I used to get hiked on. Um, not literally like roasted, but like people used to make fun of my sideburns, like calling me Elvis. And then once Ashanti hit the scene, you know, they used to be like saying stuff like that. But it's like, I still kept them. I used to be encouraged to shave them off and I did not. I mean, I did one time. Let me just tell you a quick story, right? 
So I, when I was in high school, I wanted to wear a lace front so bad, okay? I've been wearing wigs, okay? Even when it wasn't like a cool thing to be like wearing wigs, I was wearing wigs. But I wanted to wear a lace front wig. But you see how my hairline is. How the was I supposed to wear a lace front wig, especially back then with the lace front wigs from the beauty supply store that was like lace front wigs, but it was literally a screen door. Low key, I wanted to wear a lace front wig, but my hairline would not permit, okay? So I shaved off like to make my hairline just straight across because it dips out like that. I shaved off my dips, like to make my hairline literally just go straight across. I shaved off my sideburns so I could wear a lace front wig. But let me tell you what the gag is. The gag is I had five o'clock shadow on my forehead because of my, <laughs> because of like how my hairline was. It looked so stupid. Oh my gosh, you could literally see the darkness from like where my hair was. <laughs> Dumb. I put the edge control on and then usually I'm wearing the middle part most of the time. I mean, even if I'm not wearing the middle part, even if I'm wearing the side part, this still works for a side part as well. But I usually just take, can you see what I'm doing? Take that and then swoop it back like that. Okay, then I'm like just literally like swooping and pressing down at the same time. So like as I'm swooping, I'm pressing too because it's helping to like make it set in place. And then this piece, I'm going to pull it forward. And to be honest, certain days, I might do a basic edge situation. And then some days, I might want to go extra. So it really just depends. But I'm literally just like playing around with it until it looks the way I want it to look. Now for like this part, which is like a lot of hair to be like swooping, I like to do this and then pull this down first. Then I go here, cut it like that. Well not cut it, but you know, swoop it hard like that. Then go in like that, then take this, swoop it down like that. So it's starting to create like little mini swoops. And then the third swoop, right? But then I go back in and pull this out so it's like clear and defined. Okay, so then on this side, um, this side never looks like the other side. They don't never match. But yeah, again, I'm literally just going to play around with it and see like what it wants to do, what starts to form, what I like what I don't like. Okay, so this is the base of what we have going on. Then I literally just take like this much gel, I put it in the top like that and then I dab and like dab it on and like I said if I need to like go in and reshape something or you know whatever then this is when I'll do it before I tie it down because when I, once I put the scarf on whatever the edges are shaped to be is what they are going to be so this is the final edge for the day I know it's a little swoop crazy, but be, it's because I don't have any kind of thing like on my in my hair. If my hair was like done in like let's say faux locks or something, then my edges will look completely different. It really depends on like what is going on with my hair. Okay, I'm back. So then you take your scarf off, and that's it for the edges, baby. Okay, so that was it for today's edge tutorial vlog. Let me know what you think. Sometimes I get, I'm, <clears throat> okay, so that was it for today's little edge tutorial vlog. 
let me know what you think down in the comments i know sometimes people don't like or feel like this is like team too much going on but for me i'm just listen dealing with the cars i was dealt okay i used to really be like i hate my hairline my edges is basically touching my eyebrows it's annoying blah 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 i really hated it but then i just learned how to like finesse it and if my edges is going to be this damn close to my eyebrows then i'm gonna have fun with it baby so yeah let me know down in the comments what you thought give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you are not subscribed and i'll catch you in the next video which is tomorrow girl i'll see you tomorrow